Okay, so now uh, we went ahead and replaced all eight injectors um, and the fuel filters, and now we're going to go ahead and crank it and see what happens when we get to 500 pounds and see if it wants to crank over. So you can hear right off the bat that cranking sound is not normal. Okay, let's go ahead and check to see, uh, we'll do a compression test on it here. But before we do, let's go ahead and uh, see if it pulls any codes. With Auto Ingenuity, their new update, it will actually give you uh, codes pretty soon in the game before, uh, so that way we can test. So it looks like cylinder number eight has got a contribution, uh, uh, a balance fault uh, code, so the, the 0284. Um, it's usually what you get when you have a bad injector as well, but I know for a fact that this injector is good because all the other seven of them are working fine. Um, this particular cylinder has a, it's, there's something going on. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and do a compression test on it. All right, so when we do a compression test, the way that I do it is I pull out the glow plug on number eight, and we are going to insert the, uh, it's a glow plug compression tool, um, so you can actually measure uh, the compression off of the uh, cylinder without pulling the injector out. Um, so I'm going to insert this into the glow plug hole and hook it up to the gauge and see what we get. Okay, so... What we're gonna do now is I got my gauge hooked up right there, and that goes up to a thousand pounds. So it's reading in a hundred uh, hundred pound increments, or the yeah hundred pound increments. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect the cord uh, from the. We're gonna use a jump here. We're not gonna use the key because I don't want it to start. And we're gonna go ahead and crank it and see what happens. Hang on a second. So you can even hear it not sounding right on the crank and then they're not getting any pressure whatsoever. Um, on these diesels you should see about 300 pounds, um, but there is absolutely nothing. So this motor actually has a uh, bad number 8 cylinder, so it's either a cracked piston, which I'm going to highly suspect um, on this truck being and that's an 04. Um, usually the pistons crack um, straight across and uh, if it cracked it probably has a hole in it. So, um, but yeah, there's the diagnosis for this truck. Um, this one was a little longer than normal. Um, it's too bad that just, you know, replacing the injectors on this one, uh, you know, would have probably helped, um, from what the customer has told me, uh, you know, when you, when you get a truck and you have, um, a customer say he just put injectors in it that were, you know, from another engine that he doesn't know if it was running or not, or wasn't running, um, he went. I told him, you know, just go ahead and pay for new uh, injectors and make sure you got new stuff in there. But unfortunately, with this motor, um, it runs, but it has uh, no compression on number eight. So this motor is pretty much junk. So, um, anyways, this is uh, this is just a tutorial on how you can, uh, if you have a suspected problem, how to diagnose it, and uh, if you need any help or any uh, questions. Um, please comment or email me. Um, also subscribe. Thank you.